So in this video, we will learn how to extract text from images with Google Cloud Vision. Now suppose guys, you have lots and lots of images and you want to extract the text you have in that images using Google Cloud Vision, which is an amazing application from Google. Now guys, let me tell you, you can completely automate the process of extracting text and adding those text details in some application, for example, like Notion. Now suppose for just for an example, you are adding those images with some text into your Dropbox. So this automation will be like, whenever you are going to upload an image with some text in Dropbox, automatically this automation will trigger and then using Google Cloud Vision, we are going to extract the text we have in that image. And after extracting the text, we are going to add all the details of the image and the text from that image into a Notion database as a new item. Instead of Notion, you can send the same data to some other application as well. Now guys, how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Pavli Connect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Pavli Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give your workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Dropbox to Google Cloud Vision to Notion and then just click on create. Now we can see that a workflow is open over here and in this workflow we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with the trigger window. So what we are going to do over here, we are uploading some images in our Dropbox folder. And after that, after uploading these images, we want this automation to start. And then using Google Cloud Vision, we want to extract, detect the text which we have in those images. And after doing it, what we want to do, we want to add the details of that image and the text that have in, we have in our images into a Notion database. So let's begin. So here in trigger window guys, in choose app, first we have to choose the app as Dropbox because we want to first get the images which we are uploading on Dropbox. So here in search app, search for Dropbox. Select Dropbox over here. And after that, in trigger event from the dropdown, select new file. After that, just click on connect and select add new connection. So here we have to connect our Dropbox account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, just click on this connect with Dropbox button. And because guys, as you can see, I have already logged into my Dropbox account in my browser, Pavli Connect has detected the same account and made the connection. After making this connection, the only thing it asks us is the folder path that from which of our Dropbox folder, we want to get the details of a new image. So I have this folder created, which is named as images. And I want whenever I upload an image in this particular folder in Dropbox, I want to get those image details inside Pavli Connect and extract the text using this automation. So here we have to enter the path of this folder. So slash images, this will be the path of the folder. You can just open your folder or subfolder and from here you can get the path. Just copy this path from here and paste it over here. If you have any kind of doubt or confusion while entering the path, you can also refer to the help text given below over here. After entering your path, when you click on save and send test request, the details of the most recent picture or most recent image you have uploaded in this particular folder will be received inside Pavli Connect. So right now you can see that we don't have any image over here. So let's upload an image. Click on this upload button, go to files. We have this image named as new picture. Click on open and we are going to upload this image. Okay, so the image has been uploaded. This is the image file, which has a text. The quick brown fox jumped over the five lazy dogs. So this is the image which we have uploaded. Now after uploading it, go back to Pavli Connect and click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received the response. And in the response, we will see the details of the same file which we have just now uploaded. We have the same name of the file, newpicture.jpg. We have the shareable link of the file and using the shareable link, we are going to extract the text. Also, when you are going to scroll down, you will see some other details regarding the same file as well. So here you will see the date and time that at what date and time in UTC time zone, according to UTC time zone, at what date and time we have uploaded this image in our Dropbox folder. 
So in this way, guys, you can see that the step one of setting up this automation is completed. We have received a new image which we are uploading in our Dropbox folder. After this, let's move to step two. And in step two, using Google Cloud Vision, we have to extract or get the text which we have in this image. For that, just scroll down and come to our action window. And here in Choose app, search for Google Cloud Vision. Select it. And then in action event from the drop down, select the action event as detect text in images. Just select it, click on connect and select add new connection. Now what we have to do, we have to connect our Google Cloud Vision account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, it requires an API key from our Google Cloud Vision account. Now here you must be thinking how you can get this API key. So in the help text below, it says, here's the documentation on to create Google Cloud Vision API key. So here guys, you have a hyperlink, just click on it. And when you are going to click on it, it will take you to a page on our forum. And at this page, guys, you will get a complete step-by-step -step guide on how you can create or get your Google Cloud Vision API. So you have to follow all of these process. And then after following this, you will get the API key of your own Google Cloud Vision account. After getting that API key, guys, what you have to do, you just have to copy that API key from here and then go back to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. And after pasting that API key, just click on save to make the connection. Right now in this video, I'm going to use my existing connection. So I'll select existing connection and then just click on save. After connecting our Google Cloud Vision account, the only thing it asks us is the image URL. That what is the URL of the image from which we want to get the text. So we have received the image URL which we have uploaded on Dropbox and Pavli Connect in the response and trigger window. And this is the shareable link of that same image. Now we have to map basically the same image over here in this field. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and in the drop down below, you can see all the responses which we have received from Dropbox of a new file can be seen over here. And out of all of these responses, select the response of shareable link and map it over here. And then after mapping it, just click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. And in this response, you can see the all the text which we have in this image, we have received that text in this response. So here the first response which we get is of language that is E and English. Then we have the description and this is in this description guys, you can see all the text which we had in our image can be seen over here. So this was the image and this is the text which we have extracted from using Google Cloud Vision from the image. Then after that, when you are going to scroll down, after scrolling down, you will get a position or complete details of the image that in this image, at what position, what text do we have. So this, uh, all of this details, all, all of this response is not so helpful. We are just going to scroll down and at last you will get this response named as full text annotation. And in this response also, you can get all the details, the complete text which we have in this image. So basically the step two of setting up this automation is also completed. Using Google Cloud Vision inside Public Connect, we have extracted the text which we had in the image. Now let's move to step three. And in step three, we want to send the details of the image which we have uploaded and also the details of the text which we have in that image inside our Notion database. For that, just scroll down and click on this add action step button over here. And then in choose app, we have to search for Notion. Select Notion over here. And then in action event from the drop down, select the action event as create database item. Click on connect and select add new connection. So as you can guess, now we have to connect our Notion account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, just click on this connect with Notion button. After clicking on it, because I have also logged into my Notion account in my browser, Pavli Connect has detected the same account. And then we have to select the pages that of what of our Notion pages or Notion database we want to give access to Pavli Connect. So here you can see that a list of all the pages, all the database which we have in Notion can be seen over here. And here it is asking us that of which page of which database access we want to give to Pavli Connect. If you want, you can basically select all of the database as well, like I'm going to do. And if you want to give access to Pavli Connect to a specific database, you can just select that database only. And then just click on allow access. Now, when you click on allow access, guys, here you will see that your Notion account gets connected with Pavli Connect as well. 
after making this connection, the next thing it asks us is the database. That using this automation, in which database we want to add this data. So in the drop down below, you can see a list of all the database which you have in your Notion account. Basically, all the database whose access you have given to Powerly Connect. And out of all of this, I have created a specific database named as text from images. And in this database, I have added a table with the file name, URL and date and time column. So what we have to do, we have to select the same database in which we want to add the data. That is text from images. After selecting the database, the all the table columns which we have created, you can see all of these columns over here in fields. So here we have the URL field, we have the date and time field and file name field. And also at last we have an option for content that the item which we are going to create using this automation in Notion, what is the content we want to add over here. So in this content section, we are going to actually add the text which we have extracted from the image using Google Cloud Vision. So one by one what we have to do, we have to map the details of these images over here. So in URL section, we have to mention or map the URL of the image. And we have received the URL of the image from Dropbox. Just click here. And in the drop down below, from the responses which we have received from Dropbox, select the shareable link of the URL uh, of the image and just map it. After that, it is asking us date and time. So here in date and time, we have to map the date and time that at what date and time we have uploaded this image. So here we have this client modified date and time, just select it and map it over here. Then it is asking us for the file name. So from Dropbox, we have also received the name of the file. So this is the name of the file, this response, just select it and map it. And at last, in this field of content, just click on click here. We have to basically mention or map the text which we have extracted using Google Cloud Vision from that image. So from the Google Cloud Vision responses, just scroll down and select the last response of full text annotation, which we have selected. Just select it and map it over here. And after mapping all of these details, just click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, here we can see that we have received some response. And in this response, you can see that all the data which we have mapped, basically all the details of the image which we have uploaded in our Dropbox account with the text we have in that image are now added in our Notion database as a new item. So let's check it. We are going to check our Notion database. And yes, guys, here you can see that in our database, we have the name of the file which we have given. We have the Dropbox URL of the same file and also the date and time which we on where, what date and time this image was uploaded in our Notion database. Then when you are going to open this item which we have created, you will see that after opening it in this content section, you can see the same text which we have in that particular image, which we have extracted using Google Cloud Vision. This means guys, the automation workflow which we have created is working perfectly fine. And now using this automation, what you have to do? You just have to upload your images into your Dropbox folder and using this automation, automatically we are going to extract the text from that image and then add all of those details into a Notion database as a new item. Now guys, after setting up this automation, what we have to do? We just have to test this automation once in real time. For that, we will go to a Dropbox account and then we are going to upload a new image over here. So we'll go to upload up a file. We are going to upload a file. We have this image named as real time test. Just open this file from here and we are just going to upload this image in our Dropbox account and the image has been uploaded. And the text of this image is, I'm curious about the area filling text rendering option. This is the text we have. And after uploading this image guys, what we have to do, we just have to wait for 10 minutes over here. 10 minutes because the connection between Dropbox and Public Connect is a polling based connection. And in this type of connection, Public Connect will check for new file updates in Dropbox every 10 minutes. So just wait for 10 minutes over here. Okay, so we have successfully waited for 10 minutes and now we are going to check our Notion database. So we'll get back to Notion. And yes, guys, here you can see that in Notion, we have a new item created in our database and the file name is real time test, the same file which we have uploaded in our Dropbox folder. Then we have the link of that file and the date and time that at what date and time we have uploaded the file. And after all of this, guys, when we are, we are going to open this item, you can see that this is the same text which we have seen in that same image. So this image was having this text just a second. And this is the same text which is added in our Notion database as a content. This means the automation workflow which we have created is working absolutely fine. So not just these applications guys, you can connect plenty of other applications using Public Connect. 
And guys, one more important thing. You will find a clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this workflow for free. And also let me tell you, Pavli Connect offers you a forever free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pavli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.